cabin sides are all resin coated on the inside. And I've got the extra layer of laminating resin on the frames because I'll be sanding and painting, finishing them. The rest of this I'll have insulation on. cabin top is now on. I've just been up here with my grinder and my sander doing the final leveling of all these timbers. I have my butt blocks in. I got some support pieces back here. That's quite a span there and I'll be climbing up there and sitting there. And having these uh, cabin pieces all pre-fitted and uh, pre-drilled sure helped them go together fast. They just went right together. So now it's time to put Janny J's hat on. Jan's putting penetrating resin on all the bare wood, getting ready to glass it. Uh, first day of glassing. Got the back of the pilot house and the reinforcing piece at the seam there. And I got the four inch tape on these edges. And I got the back of the cabins glassed. Because they overlap the top and the sides. And then the side pieces are going to overlap both of those. So there's extra glass in all the corners and that also overlaps around the side there. There's double thickness on all of the seams. And I've got uh, the 4 inch tape along this seam where the windshield frames hit the roundhouse top. Well, it's October 4th. It was 80 degrees today. Didn't expect this kind of weather. Our second day of glassing. Front's all done. The sides are done. And down the center of the top, I've got, I'm using 60 inch, 6 ounce cloth, 5 feet wide. So at the 5 foot wide center section down that cabin and these side pieces uh, I overlapped the sides back there onto the cabin top. So all I've got left is a couple of strips down each side on the pilot house top and a piece right in the middle on the half cabin top. But I just run out of steam. I'm running out of daylight. So I'm real happy for what I got done. I'm basically pretty glassed. added these uh, three-quarter inch pine pieces to line the inside of the windshield framing. So beef up that area a little bit and also give something for the screws to go into that are going to hold the outside windshield framing. The pieces that will actually hold the glass in. I wanted to get those the screws in before I glassed it so I could glass over the, the screw holes. I've got the hatch runners for the aft hatch. They're old pieces. Got them glued down on the deck before I got the primer on. Actually the cabin tops. But now it's gotten a little too chilly so I'm just waiting on weather. So these are made out of oak. These will hold the sliding hatch over the companionway into the aft cabin. I've got these pieces on. This uh, this will be the stop for the sliding door, the forward stop. I've got a notch in there of uh, seven eighths of an inch deep. The doors will be three quarter inch plywood, but they'll be glassed. And I've got these runners for the sliding door, pilot house doors. These are oak. You know, all glued and fastened in. I got those spaced 7 8 also. And what I'll probably do is uh, line these with a coat of uh, 
epoxy resin mixed with powdered graphite and also the bearing areas of the door I'll have those coated with that too. I don't really like sliding doors but uh, it's the only thing really practical here and that's that will stop it there and there'll be a piece of teak on the outside that'll capture the end of that door it'll go in there an inch that should keep water from sluicing up in there and the portholes are in the roundhouse I'm making the teak moldings and go on the upper edge of the aft cabin got a 5 8 round over bit here and I'm uh, actually grinding some of it off with the grinder so it doesn't have to eat so much because it tends to want to split out the wood so I'm taking it down with the grinder and then finish it with the router got my eyebrow molding fitted and drilled and rounded over and uh, it split out a few places so I saved the slivers and just glued them back well, it's now Halloween we got extremely lucky with the weather. I got my trim moldings on. The cabins are primed and painted. And now I'm working on doors and maybe try to get some windows in this thing. But uh, she's getting there. Here's a moment of truth. Weighing the boat at the sawmill. The boat weighs 4,120 pounds, as she says. Windshields are now in with their walnut framing. And the portholes are in. I got all my glass. I'm gonna get her sealed up so I don't have to mess with them tarps. They just shred and blow away. I'm putting on the upper runner for the sliding Pilot house doors, I got a piece of 1 8 plywood in there giving me my spacing. And I have it, uh, the bearing surface is coated with the epoxy resin with graphite, powdered graphite in it. And I also have it down here in the lower track and on the bottom of the uh, sliding door. It's been really cold lately, so I took the hatch and the doors to work to prime and paint. This is my companion way hatch for the aft cabin. I've got these teak pieces going across the top here. They help bridge this narrow area here between the side piece here. Inch and a half brass that will be screwed to here that will fit in the groove in my runners. And I have quarter inch stainless steel nuts set into a countersink there. They're glued in with a little spot of super glue. And this, when the hatch slides on, this will go ahead of the cross piece. And these screws will go in to fasten that on. Some brass strips on top of the hatch runners. Got that piece in now, and the hatch works real well. And these sliders work real well. At this point, the Janny J is ready for the water. But you can't launch a boat on a frozen lake. We've been going below zero. November's almost over now. And we'll be spending the winter looking for a motor. We have electrics and plumbing to do on the inside. But uh, at least she's all closed up, sealed up, ready for the winter.